Yo, 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 howdy, howdy, YouTube world, man. It's me, Uno. I'm back with episode 23.5. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not point five. now it's part two. All right. It's three part two. Minutes. It's the viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not really part two. It's only part two because you're still here. Mm. But it's like a completely different subject mm. than previous convo we just had. This one, dog, like... <laughs> Can I tell you, um, it's a little bit hard to talk about, but uh, it's something I want to talk about, you know, like, <clears throat> and even get, like, input in, I just, I just want to talk about it, you know, mm -hmm. it's a risk I wanted to take, mm -hmm. I would have imagined the way that I planned it, is mm -hmm. that instead of you in mm -hmm. that chair, it might have been this other girl that I'm having this conversation with. That's one of the other risks I would have Sorry. Agree with you. That's one of the other risks I wanted to take. I wanted mm -hmm. like, to talk about what I perceive to be the dynamics of our relationship. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's not really about necessarily what she said. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more about you can go. Yeah, and you know, a lot of. <coughs> I spoke to my sister about it. She's like, I want to see that episode. That's the episode. I want to see <laughs> when, when, when you, you talk to that girl. <laughs> that's the episode. <laughs> so I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it'll be great. But I don't know yeah. if I can put my life on the line like that for content. It might be the last episode I ever make. <laughs> but I also feel oh, like you know, it's uh, it's something that is to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm probably not the only person that has gone through it. And yeah. like, uh, <clears throat> I talk to my homies every day. I don't know about it, but you know, like occasionally, yo, man, check this out, this, mm. <laughs> this honey, mm. you know, you know the bros. So, <laughs> so, the bros go, bro. so, dog, like, uh, what I want to title this mm. episode. Yeah. What I initially, okay, no, forget what I initially wanted to title. It's mm. called Hyper. Technical, mm. yeah. Okay, let me tell you. I'm one of those niggas, bro. Like, I make up words. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a great thing to yeah, do. Yeah, like sometimes I don't, I don't think the English word vocabulary. It quantifies what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Something like one word I came up with, mm. for example, is uh, impunigate. Mm. You know, like and somebody. <laughs> I was explaining to somebody. So what does impunity mean? Impunity. I was like, it means it means we want to grow up. Wow. It, it, it invokes the pu yo, wow, that's it, powerful, it, that's bro. That's all that I can't believe. Yeah, it invokes the feeling of wanting to puke so inside of me. So that one goes forward, you know, you know, you know, I need my copy, I need my painting. Oxford, all of that, man. It Baby, why? So see, you know, one thing was good names, man, you know what I'm saying? You know the address, <laughs> neighborhood. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. So, like, <clears throat> Doug. Hyper technical. Yeah, man. I know those words have their whole meaning they put together, but mm -hmm. to me, though, when I think something's hyper technical, it even gives me like a slight headache. Mm. You know, when I think about that shit, it's crazy. Just the technicalities oh. involved in it, dog. It's like, dog, you know, there's this laptop here. Mm. You know, you give it to maybe somebody who has never even seen mm. a laptop. Touch. Finger system crash, fix the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to put the motherboard next to the, the chip. Yeah, CPU and then just. Oh, there's Intel inside. <laughs> it's like that. It's like replace the fan, that's it. Just remember to replace the fan. And it's like, what? Like, no, no obla, senor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, and it's, it's like. Mm -hmm. Complicated beyond comprehension. Real you know, even on Facebook, we can change relationship status. Yeah, it gets complicated. Single, married, widowed, yeah. complicated. This no, no, one no. is complicated. It's not even just co beyond, beyond comprehension. comprehension. It's not even just complicated. And if it was an equation, yeah, it would not be <laughs> unsolvable. <laughs> Find X and all of this? Wait. No, wait no, no. There was never an X. Let's <laughs> <laughs> the start there. So it's like, you know, you just like put your hand. You're right, there's X in your If it was an English comprehension test, you know, you might have taken better chances writing another language's mm. comprehension test. You might have written Mandarin. And got more and more. 
Facts. You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Mm. This shit is crazy, bro. So like, to me, like the real thing that <clears throat> mm. I wanted to talk about is like, um, mm. I kind of just accepted that nothing was gonna happen. As it pertains to you and and, and just kind of, yeah, you know, it's like it's one mm. of the most devastating things to to come to terms with. I'm not gonna lie to you, so, you know, because like. When you genuinely from like the bottom of yourself like, mm. appreciate someone, mm. like someone, love someone, mm. and like even overcome a lot of fears just to, to be, be able transparent, to to express it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't think I've ever been like a risk averse type of person. Like, even this thing of emotional risk, mm. it's a it's it's a term I came across mm -hmm. with. You know, when you put yourself at Emotional things. Yeah, that's what we want to find. Okay, fine. If this friend doesn't like me, yeah, that's fine, bro. That's cool. Come on, man. He's like, not gonna change that thing here, but you have to like me because mm -hmm. I like you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I feel like uh, I put in quite a quite quite. It's not even like quiet and effort. It's like just being sincere enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I put an effort into being sincere and genuine mm -hmm. enough. And being like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is who I am. Holistic. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of just became a mess somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe we'll need to call it entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> But not, not, not in the classic sense, no. it's not pointed, but like mm. literally the word. I'm not Some, Yeah, it, yeah, like, like literally the word. Now it's just the word <laughs> itself. Yeah, nah, something was tangled up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's not my language, but mm. it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. You know, mm. because I often think about that song by, what's her name? Jonah Matredi. You know, my mm. dad grew up playing that shit. Wow. You know, yes. riding with my mom with the whip in the back. Hey, you're like young, you know, you're young. Why do you come here <laughs> and pretend <laughs> to be just I'm like, yo, okay, look, bro, we've been through the motions. Dog, you know what this is already? What, what, we, what are we know, doing? It's, 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 it's gone to the extent that maybe I'm just short of saying it. Mm. But, but, but I feel like, yeah. yo, man, if I've written you a few letters in my. Recent senior mm. adult, adult life. life, still youth, yeah, still um, adult. yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, maybe not still adult, but yeah, but yeah, 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 young, yeah, young OG, <laughs> yeah, young OG, and, 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 and if I'm, you know, like, mm. I can't accept it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. dog, I made a song, put your best foot forward. Yes, sir. My nigga, you run your race, dog. Mm -hmm. You know, every other athlete who ran against Usain Bolt mm -hmm. didn't not try mm -hmm. their best. You put their best foot forward. Yeah, I didn't win. I didn't win, nigga. I didn't win. And that, that don't mean I ain't coming back. Dog, dog, it's not like, it's not like I wanted to lose, but mm -hmm. I didn't win. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, the thing that really gets me is like, what the fuck, man? Like, okay. Like you're always saying, but this is what I like to talk to you about. Cause like you point out that you're, you're transparent enough. It's like I'm not just like that, mm. you know, because we're, because we're rolling. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. that's kind of how a nigga is mm. with everybody. Like, yo, man, I'll tell you, but this is how I feel. Mm. Transparent to them. how I feel, maybe it doesn't matter to you. What matters to me is that I have to tell you, I have to express that's it. my thing. It's like you can never say, You didn't tell me, nah. no, bro, no, bro. We've mm. done the whole rose giving mm. thing or flowers giving mm. thing, not, not not only in the literal sense, mm. but like, yo, my nigga, look, mm. bro, know what time it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, and mm. and you know what, bro, maybe, maybe, maybe niggas will jump on the comments and just make yeah. it a sin, my nigga, it's. Fine. Yeah. Let's do the frame. It's okay. Yeah. That's how it's how you feel. Okay. Mm. 
Because at the end of the I've, day, it's hard. Like. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, can t- t- tell me what you think. Because I feel Sorry like. for talking about No, nah, it's just dope, bro. Because <laughs> I feel at the end of the day, you feel how you feel about Shadi, right? And you're transparent enough to let it be known. Mm. If you don't do that, where does that leave you? You are really sim because then you feel a kind of way about a girl and you never let it be known. And now you butt hurt wherever you may be. Now you fucking Facebook stalking old girl, but you don't really, even know how you feel. You know what I'm trying to say? So like, even when you like her picture, she don't even know what that means. And when you let it be known, you know what I'm trying to say? When you let it be known, that's what time I'm on. And I'm saying, okay, you let me know what time you are on. Cool. If one day I wake up and I'm like, yo, I miss old girl. I'm going to come like your picture. She knows that what it means. You know what I'm saying? Like, homeboy actually likes me. I said no to homeboy, but homeboy can pull up and still be like, yo, I appreciate you. I'm doing me. And that's what it is. Right? I value that way more than we talked about that. We're so grown these days, right? That if we're going to be in a situation where you're going to say, bro, pull up to record, right? Then I pull up to record or whatever. Then I post outside and never call you. And then you call me later, I'm like, yo, bro, where you at? So I'm gonna pull up to come. Like, nah, I'm outside, bro. I already pulled up to the court. I was waiting for you to highlight me and say, come through. It's like, what are we really saying, bro? Where's your ability to communicate to you? Like, dog, I'm outside. Can you come through and record? Can you come to open form, whatever the case may be? Mm-hmm. Now, I view that in the relationship construct saying, sometimes people don't know how to communicate that well. Yeah. Right? And sometimes, let's say hypothetically in that situation, I was mad at you for whatever reason. And I feel like that's a way of punishing you for whatever you may have done. We've grown enough to say that's not a way to communicate. But you know what, dog? Remember I said I had to check you. Mm. Okay, see, this situation here it is goes on its own. It's hurting, it, bro. But then we get what makes it hyper hyper mm. is the fact that I might have accepted this. Mm. Maybe the opposite party hasn't or has question mark right mm-hmm. but that question mark lingers in other things it's like okay fine yeah maybe maybe i have met mm-hmm. a, a nice young lady who mm-hmm. kind of has no problem expressing her appreciation of a nigga mm-hmm. like, okay this is from the jump this is great mm-hmm. let me tell you something bro i don't, <laughs> I don't want to tell you mm-hmm. but i'm going to tell you mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to. Like, yeah, that's it's, it's probably one of like the most stupid things I'm probably gonna For real. ever do. <laughs> but I appreciate you because you always say it regardless, bro. I love that about I was music. dating this sweet, sweet mm. honey. Mm. I'm not gonna mention mm. her name. Mm. I'm not gonna because you know, yeah, she's yeah. still sweet. <laughs> she's still sweet. Don't Let's show you, bro. One of the greatest relationships mm-hmm. I've ever had. This I'm behind it off, so I'm out of the blue. Mm-hmm. After we've had like a long separation of like not even communicating at all. Between you and this? Yeah. Yeah, how do you be? It's a hypothetical. Hypothetical. Excellent A. You know, she, and she pops up and she mm-hmm. like. What does is, what is Drake say? He says um, she was acting funny in the summer, but she'd be nice again. I was living that. I was like, oh, is this how it is now? Drake doesn't just write the lyrics. No, no, no. The no, prophetic nigga. You think Drake's life? The, pro- the prophet Obi Drake. <laughs> the prophet Obi Drake. Obi Drake. Shout out, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <clears throat> dog. I couldn't live with it. Maybe, maybe it's another mm-hmm. sim classification, but I, I was torn genuinely. Like, man, here's this sweet, sweet girl. Mm-hmm. But this is what I desire. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I made the decision of, you know, cutting off the sweetness. Mm-hmm. And I, I broke that girl's heart. I broke it, dog. Mm-hmm. Dog, she wanted to drive to Bloomfontein to come see him. I think that time she was in the book. was like, nigga, no, this is not happening. This is not I'm like, oh, boy. You think, you think this is easy for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, maybe that's emotional blackmail for me to understand. No, but, it, but it's it, a reality. It wasn't easy. It's it just like, yeah. you know, it was what was necessary mm-hmm. for, 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 for me. 
like you know like what I, I keep saying like mm. I'm not afraid to do like difficult things mm-hmm. even if it turns out to be the wrong thing mm-hmm. it will eventually be the right thing and you're big like, enough to own that a lot yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. and if I made a mistake I look back and I'm like yeah maybe I made a mistake and I think back and I'm like I, I don't think I made a mistake you know why because I followed what I wanted mm-hmm. and it brought me to this conclusion where, where we are today mm-hmm. like you know what Maybe we're just better off as friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know can experience that yeah, and build through. Because because I don't want to ever like go through a situation where there's somebody who like can express mm-hmm. that. Look, bro, so I have I, I have this genuine interest mm-hmm. in you. I want to get to know you better, yeah. like for real. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not even saying where mm-hmm. this shit is going. I don't even know. I'm just saying, hey, yo, my name. I want to find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're not special, but you know there's something special well, to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's making me inquisitive, mm-hmm. and that's cool. Oh. But like, dog, this thing of like uh, guessing and and like Trembling signs around. and hints. Yeah. You know, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, I feel like we're talking about risks. I feel like. <clears throat> For me, this is hard to talk about because I know definitely every party mentioned mm-hmm. in this story will watch this video maybe and understand. Oh, so that's what yeah. happened. He had this. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. what about now? What's going on? Mm-hmm. And you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's hyper technical, mm-hmm. man. It's hyper it technical it because, like, at the end of the day, dog, like, mm-hmm. the key thing is that, like, you know, I don't want to hurt anyone, but the most. The person I don't want to hurt the most. Mm. Guess what? Guess mm. who that is? Mm. Me. And that's. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> that's the most important thing. Because the worst person to get hurt in all of this, right, mm. is you. Because I feel we have these conversations all the time when we talk, right, and be like, it's great for you to be a light worker and a giver as you are, right? Mm. Yet if there's darkness coming towards you, Una can't be running to try give light the whole time because yeah. it's gonna impede Una's ability to give light. You understand? And like a situation like that, you say it's not that I don't have love for you. Yeah. I just learned that I can't love you in this paradox, in this paradigm, right? And it's beautiful in that when you grow, it's especially, you see especially it. because like I feel like mm. having grown up, kind of. You know, like I still perceive myself to be very much a boy in mm. the universe. Mm. You know, but I kind of have grown up, and I feel mm. like, you know, if 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 you want something, you know, you just make an effort to, to go for it, and you get it, and you will get you it. You know, and and one thing that I've grown to appreciate from the the many relationships or few relationships, depending which side you're looking at it from, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But one one thing I've learned mm-hmm. is that like the greatest type of romance mm-hmm. comes from loving freely and being loved freely. You get what I'm saying? And like a lot of people have these experiences that inhibit their ability to express their or love see. freely because mm-hmm. they. And I'm not saying I've never in this whole thing said that. Uh, 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 Hyper technical exhibit A mm-hmm. doesn't but have that's love great. for me. No, 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 no. That's the very reality. Was the challenge I'm having is like okay, look, understanding the love. I, I, I also probably mm-hmm. need to understand that you know you kind of feel the same way. Mm-hmm. Don't communicate it the same way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, because like. I also want that feeling. Yes, I, I I feel it yes. when I'm writing that letter. Bro, I'm talking about low shaving time. <laughs> oh, let me just write this honey letter. Who got a candle on? Candle dog. lit written letter. Got a candle lit letter. A candle lit letter, bro. Dog, don't play with me. Hey. I did it. I went in. Uh, and I'm thinking, man. I probably never experienced this in, in recipro- reciprocation. This is probably Dude. like. The most special, and it matters to me. To you, and to somebody else, please be like, I just got a letter from this thing. You know what I'm trying to say? And and sometimes, and I love what you just said because sometimes I shouldn't have to contextualize it. I wrote it during load shading in the darkness with a candle on to express my emotion. That's what I had to go through to express my emotion. My name, my name, my it, name. it should just be like, yo, homie yeah. did something yeah. now for the kid and came to my own. She appreciates. Disaster. For me to tap into, to, to to be humble enough to, to tap do into those feels, to push me to do that, and guess what? I, did it. I accepted it, Bro. and I did it. 
You know, and I'm like, okay, fine. So, yeah, to to love uh, unconditionally mm. is is to just give eternally mm. and never to expect to receive, mm. right? I, mean, mm. I can I can accept that. Mm. You know, it's mm. just like. There are certain things that I don't think I'm prepared to give mm-hmm. because maybe when given elsewhere, mm-hmm. I might get more. Mm-hmm. And it's not or about something re- else. It is not necessarily about receiving, but it's like yeah. there's an opportunity. There's there's a rate to return on investment. Like talk about in business, right? Mm-hmm. Where if I put money into stock A and money to stock B, this one gives more than that. Mm-hmm. Right, yet there's the other reverse side of it. Let's say there's a stock C, and the more money I put into this, the more money I lose. Mm-hmm. It's like that with you the more money I invest into this, the more I lose within myself to be able to give. Yeah, so if I've realized that I can invest elsewhere, why do I not invest elsewhere? Yeah, but you know, the, this is the, exactly, exactly it's what they call opportunity, cost. yes, sir. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, if 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 your, if your emotion, if your feelings. Um, our currency, if it's money, hard cash, mm-hmm. right? And you can invest it somewhere. Mm-hmm. Are you going to invest in 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 in, mm-hmm. in it? If it's property, yeah. are you going to put your emotional cash into a bando? Mm-hmm. Are you going to put your emotional? Mm-hmm. This person is mm-hmm. an emotion mm-hmm. might be an emotional uh, bando trap house. And look, it's not That's to say your budget is. House. It's not to say that your budget is a bando. No, no. You, you got mansion cash. Ma- you you cash. got it like that, but I mean, mansion sh- cash. Mm. You know, but like yo, like yo, I you just fell in love with this bando, dog. Like, just bando. <laughs> Don't do that. And I'm gonna pimp it out. No, I'm gonna make it no, look like, like a you nice. See, you bag, see the potential of the band. Facts. I can gentrify this whole block if I. I'm not the friend. It, it, it might, it might, it might, it might occur to be, to be slander. Maybe I'm also somebody's band. Mm, okay, who, you understand? Yes, yeah, really. That, right. That's that's okay. Mm. I'm just making illustration. Yeah. I'm just making illustration that yeah. you know, like, you need to think about yourself like that emotionally. And I got mm. to that point, like, no man, but like. If I want to be the best version of myself, I think I might need to couple myself with, with you know, people who like understand at least that. Oh, not even with me having to try to explain. Like, look, mm-hmm. right, I'm the kind of uh, emotional person or person emotional who needs to be like irrigated occasionally. Like, oh, mm-hmm. just put some water on that nigga. Yeah, tell, tell, nourish tell, tell that nigga you care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's fine. And people who understand But, but, but the, I think that the other things that like the more frequently you do it, the more I'm like, oh wait, but this I'm being noticed here. And then I start to grow in and, 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 and the thing is that it's also not just gonna be everybody, because a lot of people will appreciate who you like, are. And never but tell like, you. But like there's some people who like the way they express it makes you like, what's the word they use? Intrigued. Mm. And when you're intrigued, there's an element of like your know, attraction. Like where does that come from? Where where do you find yeah, that appreciation? You know what I'm because now I start to appreciate so, you. So more dark, like, you know, like the, the whole fun. thing, the whole thing before it became hyper technical, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was uh, leaving the door open. Mm. You know, I made this whole ent- entire analogy of like, yeah, I'm going through the door. Okay. As a as a risk taker, you know, yes, we, we put our hands on the, mm. on the handle. Like, mm-hmm. You've done it. Yes, you, you, you've taken the risk, and mm. oh my God, this is actually the situation I might not want to be in, mm. kind of right now. Mm-hmm. But what if it gets better? Mm. Do I close this door completely? Mm. Do I leave it open, and jar? Risk log, vlog, entry. I don't know what number we had. This is a deep convo, man. I don't yeah. know what to do. I took the risk. True. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening, man. I really just yeah. appreciate it. And I don't mean to slander anyone. <laughs> you know, At just, all. Like, I'm speaking from my heart. Thank you so much for listening. Mm-hmm. True story. The last trick at these Thank two you. EP is out now. Strive, persevere, overcome. Um, yo, yo, you know, okay. the album. Let's do it, man. Thank you so much, YouTube. Yeah. The risk log vlog is coming to an end. I think I got a few little surprises. Episode 26 and 27 and 25, actually. Mm-hmm. 25 is an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Come to See you in the next one. Thanks so much, dude. <laughs> That's you, my king.